All right, let's just get right into it. I've saved up 150 sacks of very wild rewards, and I'm ready to open them today. So to start, I'm going to open with the small sacks, then go to the worm sacks, and then end on the fun ones. So just spam through all of these. We're going to see a lot of energies. Chinchampas are good. Bloodweed seeds are good. Portable obelisks and alcabols are also very welcome. Looks like we already got two portable obelisks. Also, those black salamanders are actually pretty good to disassemble. I believe they give tensile components, or maybe dexterous, and they give them fairly frequently. There we go, there's all the normal sacks. Let's take a quick look at the price of those. Everything turned out to be, is that correct? 56 mil? Is it including these? It's not, okay, so 56 mil. Pretty good, good amount of energies, good amount of salamanders, good amount of seeds, pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and open the worm sacks. I'm expecting nothing but fury sharks. Yep, so that lived up. And very wild sacks. I've done this twice before and never had a dark onyx core, so hopefully today's the day. Oof, a draconic visage already is rare. Fishing brawling gloves is good. Melee brawlers are pretty useless. Back to back brawlers there. Up oh, three in a row. All of those are good. Okay, more good brawlers. Combine what we can here. Let's just deposit these into my brawling glove section for now. Put the dragons up. And chalices as well. We'll try and keep the stackable items. There's the first clue casket coming in. Handful more brawlers. Not looking amazing. I'm not feeling super confident about getting the core, especially when we get an Annihilation, which I believe is the same rate. So very unfortunate to see Annihilation number three coming in. All right, a lot more Brawlers. Let's see if we can combine any of these. Mining, Hunter, Smithing, Melee, okay. All good for now. Alright, that's the first 50 already opened with no core, so hopefully in the second 50 we'll get two core drops and I'll be set for life. Easy casket coming in. Portable obelisk, okay. Another visage, oh, back to back visages and a hard clue, okay. I feel like we're getting some interesting RNG, but not any Dark Onyx Core RNG. Alright, that's past the halfway mark. Gone through 17, oops, 76 of the sacks. Go ahead and organize the clues just a bit. And here we go. Hopefully this latter half has that Dark Onyx Core that we very much desire. A bunch more brawlers. Hate to say it, but I feel like it's not gonna happen. It would be funny if it happened on like the very last one. Down to 30 sacks. Got a good amount of clues though. Five of each. No elites yet. 
Oof, no decimation, so we've gotten two weapons, both of which I think are the same rate as a core. Have to say, it kind of stings a little bit. Alright, last one, a double core. Not lucky today. But we got a ton of brawlers and probably a good bit in alcohols. I'm gonna say 30 mil, probably it's counting the two weapons as well. And uh, I guess we can open the clues and see if we get lucky there. Put on a luck ring. Start with the easies. One fortunate, two fortunates. Probably should have re-rolled that. Three fortunates. Five fortunates. And re-roll this one. Six fortunates from the easies. Seven fortunate and a collection log slot. An eighth fortunate and also a collection log slot. Alright, let's see a shadow die from the hard clues. Master clue is good. Reroll this one. And another fortunate to round it all off. So, overall, pretty disappointing. I'll get back to stacking and I will see you when I open another hundred plus of these very wild and very disappointing sacks. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.